Johnny. Who's the crow whisperer? The crow whisperer. That's a funny story. I've got a song here for you. Go on, Charles. The great Tom Jones. Green, green grass and home. That's my favourite. I'm going to dedicate it to the beautiful Ruth Ellis. She was the last woman to hang in this country. Yeah, I know that. She would have been in France. She'd have got crime and passion and walked out of that courtroom. Right. If she'd have got Nick today for what she'd done then, she'd have got Mansell and served three years. What right. she'd done... For Ruth. It was horrible. Honestly, mate, what they'd done to her was inhuman. So this song, Green Green Grass, is for Ruth. Go on then. We love you, Ruth. We love you. We love you, Ruth. Yellow town looks the same as I stood there from the tree. And every bee was my mother and my papa. And everyone that looked and they rose merry. Love you, Ruth. Go, oh, Charlie, you're getting fucking better. You're getting better. Yeah, the reason, the reason is when I dedicate it to someone that I love and respect. You sing it with passion. I sing it with passion and feelings and emotions. I can feel it coming through the phone, man. They fucking snapped her neck, mate. She was a beautiful girl, lovely. Yeah. We should throw our head in shame some of these cases in the past. Yeah, I know. Derek Bentley case. Yeah. Do you remember him, Dave? I don't remember him, but I know the story very, very well. That's oh, how fucking... Tragic. How wrong is that? In the mind of an 11-year-old boy when they hung him. He was only 21, but he had the mind of an 11-year-old boy. And he never even fucking shot the old Bill. No, no. It was the other one that shot him. I know. I know that, 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 that is a catastrophe. It's being a little bit cruel to you, Charles. But I, I've told you before, listen to me, I mean this. I've been a little bit cruel myself as well. Alright, alright, but what I'm saying is, as an, as an advert for men on how to behave when they get a kick in the bollocks in life, I promise you, you are right up there. Right? How you're fucking handling your your kicks in the bollocks. I mean this as a man, I'm telling you. You are, you well, deserve a fucking accolade. The only person I could thank for that is my old man, my dad. Yeah. My old dad, mate. Dust off. Yeah. Dust off. Yeah. Dust off. Yeah. Dust off. Yeah. Dust off. Fucking get back up and have another round. What must be terrifying for them authorities is you are teaching people how to fucking behave in the face of adversity. You are leading the way, mate. I fuck it. I promise. I promise. Right? Yeah. You've just been told what you've been told and you're singing me a song.
<laughs> yes, you you did really do it, yeah. And then they said this, a man's never lived until he goes to bed in a straitjacket. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's quite a unique one. That's quite a unique one. I've been in boxes and padded rooms in body gold straitjackets, and I still fucking sing. No, I know. I know. I've been, to I've been talking to you for 20 years, I know. <laughs> okay. Some people think, oh, that could, oh, that could. Well, even I say that to myself. No, but it did, yeah. I look back and I, I've got to bed every fucking night laughing and I wake up smiling, mate. I do honestly. I mean, I shouldn't, I fucking shouldn't. I should be literally twisted. Oh, no. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'll tell you something, Yeah. I can't wait to get out there and have a lovely fry up with you. Oh, listen, we'll, we'll do loads. We will do loads. Yeah. Then the old beer of 50 pounds, I'd say, give us your best double bubble you could got, Bill. Yeah, I'll have a scoff with you. I'd love yeah, that. I'd love a yeah. I do love a mushroom, Dave. <laughs> you love a mushroom? <laughs> yeah, I do love a mushroom. Good. I'll keep that in mind. I had my suit out last week. Yeah? Yeah, my suit, shoes, shirt, tie, and the lot of places. Pass it out to keep safe for me. Richard's got it for me. Good. So if there are any more court cases, mm. I'll just have it sent in and wear it. See? He's a good boy, isn't he, Richard? He lives for you, he's mate. He's a proper good boy. No, I know he is. No, no, I've met him. I met him. Yeah, he's living for you at the moment, he is, that man. Good. And wants nothing in return. He doesn't even want the glory of it. It's, it's all purely for you, Charles. Yeah. Right to the end. Yeah. Right to the end. I love you loads, boy. I love you lots, Charlie. I've got a few cuss-ups to sort out. I'm sure you have. Keep smiling. Keep smiling. Say hello to the crow. <laughs>